Any other public comments as it relates to the election for president? Move. And I'm sorry, I didn't have the first first gentleman do it. Would you state your name before you start coming? Yes, sir. In case anybody doesn't know you. <laughs> Chris Garriga. I do have a real name in case everybody didn't know. <laughs> um, I think Rick hit a lot of the points right on the hammer. Um, I think what we um, have is we had a lot of issues over the last 18 months stemming from, I believe, from the ambulance and the fire issue. Um, not that... I'm not going to name who I, I think we should probably put in there, but I think it's time for a middle of the road kind of person. I think it's time for somebody that can hear both sides and make a decision. Um, based on that, I think we had a person that made a decision and like um, Rick said, recandered his vote, apologized for not having all the information that, that we needed to make a vote and came out about that. I think that speaks volume in today's world to admit you made a mistake. You learn from your mistake and you moved on. Uh, that's what I tell my employees every day is that I don't care if you make a mistake every day, we're gonna make mistakes every day. That's just how we were built. It's to learn from your, from your mistakes and move forward. Um, I would just ask that the entire jury you know, think about where we sit today. As of the last 18 months, how many people were in these packed meetings? We talked for over 18 months about an ambulance uh, to take care of 20 something thousand residents of the parish. It shouldn't, have, it shouldn't have taken that long. It shouldn't have been that long. I think with the right leadership and the right people in the right places, this should have been done in 30 days or like uh, was just said, we had an offer that was half a million dollars cheaper where we are. And I think Ms. Teresa, you went on and on about the being about money last time, about how we don't have money. Well, we had a half a million dollar offer that was that was cheaper. And we still have not really talked about that. And I even said one of the, uh, my comments in a meeting like, why aren't we talking about that? A little bit more so I would just ask that you put your personal vendettas your personal um, uh, agendas aside and do what's right for our community and as you can see our community is here once again because they probably don't like what's going on today or what's been going on so um, I mean we can keep having meetings like this and people can vote you can say it's the lights are on in here and some of y'all are going to say, nope, they're off. They're off in here and you're going to stick by that no matter what happens. So I would just um, hope that y'all can make some good decisions for our community and not for your personal agendas. Thank you. Thank you.